Hi my friends, today we model this part which has some interesting uh, faces and uh, features but they are not so difficult. The drawing is here with all dimensions. We start by creating uh, this portion of the part which is a uh, an extruded uh, feature dimensions uh, are here you see four radii 16 and 15 degrees let's start new standard millimeters IPT sketch uh, this plane I rotate the sketch to have Y horizontal and I draw an arc, this one, with a radius of uh, 40. I place this arc with uh, its center over the center point and you see we can rotate this the center of this arc must be on the same horizontal with the center point as you can see another arc is this one with a radius of uh, 45.4 they have the same center and now we can draw some lines let me extend this arc a little and be careful I draw a sloped line from here I keep press the left button and I go right here this angle I, I cannot measure the, the angle because I have to project the Y axis and to make it uh, construction this angle is uh, 14 inventor wants the complement uh, this radius is 11 And we can uh, mirror that two entities one, two about this axis apply. We extend the uh, this arc to the point and we have to place another two dimensions one is uh, from this point to this point of 16 and uh, a distance from this point to this center of 44 I don't like this angle so I apply again an angle between these two hoping to have this now this is a fully 
constraint sketch. Finish sketch. You see, this is uh, the length of the of the extrusion. We apply extrude the other direction of 82. Good. You see uh, this uh, curved face, and the continuation is uh, with the rectangular or parallel uh, entity or feature, this one, and we use dimensions this one 43.25. 25 this angle of 15 this radius of 11 75 and this dimension of 61.35 we intend to apply the tool sweep you see this edge yes this is important we select this face for the new sketch firstly by connecting these two ends and applying construction to this because this is the contour we use for sweep then we use XY plane for a new sketch F7 I start from the right line to here keep press the left button go somewhere here a line tangent and Keep press the left button and go to this center point. You see, I project this line or the axis X because this is starting from the center point of the entire uh, part. I make this uh, as construction. I apply tangent here and then uh, that uh, dimensions you know this uh, angle of 15 we prefer to start with angles this radius of 43.25 Uh, this is 11.75 and the distance from this point to the to the axis X is 61.35 good I move this uh, dimension somewhere to see better all dimensions. Finish sketch, sweep. Inventor knows that this is uh, the profile because it is the unique closed contour in this. Uh, environment and the curve is uh, this one okay now we have a gap here you see this we have to extend this or to cut with this uh, uh, curved face its continuation by using uh, an extrusion 
I select this face for that extrusion but I don't have a limit to go so I start with uh, creating a plane based on this which contains this point now I select the face to have a sketch yes finish this you see the created sketch how is this possible you know my friends I told you a lot about this alt f i in sequence is the command for having this application options the sketch has this option checked yes it is checked auto project edges for sketch creation and edit this makes that uh, the selected face to become a sketch apply if you want okay now extrude not this direction but the other you see cut is selected I select two and the play now we have an end for this extrusion this is not necessary to be visible and you see that uh, important edge now if you take a look here you see undimensioned fillets are radius 0 0.5 what are that uh, undimensioned fillets the only one is uh, this one but also on this uh, other face 0 0.5 yes I select this edge and I apply 0 0.5 also to the other one okay now we have to create this uh, cut with the dimensions here 10 and 40 2 is the thickness and the distance is 50 finished with this uh, radius of 40 let's do this we create the profile line from the, uh, this arc and back to the existing line arc you see this is not on the on that arc I apply coincident two millimeters angle of 40 uh, this point must be placed on the center point not the center point the axis X projection of the axis X
and these two must be equal these two lines the last dimension is 10 this is 10 okay now I want to disturb the closed contours so I select this and this to be construction it's enough but this must be visible to have a close contour finish sketch extrude you see the contour is recognized and the distance is uh, 50 the other direction with cut on 50 now we create another face we draw a line vertical line we place on the same horizontal this end point with this end point and also this in order to have only one dimension that dimension is 40 it's a radius 40 now I convert this to center line because we use it with a revolve not join but cut okay you see this is uh, the result another cut is this one nine with eight degrees it is here you see We use the XY plane for a new sketch. F7. We project entities here. 1, 2. We draw that sloped line. We apply the angle of 8. And the length projected length of uh, 9 okay finish sketch extrude symmetrical through all with cut okay good another feature is uh, this cut which is uh, mirrored here 5 on 15 let's do this we select this face for a new sketch we project some uh, lines here this one uh, this one you must be careful that there is another one very important and we draw a sloped line to that external line dimension is uh, 5 on vertical and the angle you see it was very very large the angle is 15 
finish sketch, extrude, this is the close contour, okay, then mirror of the last extrusion, it was selected, and the XY plane as you can see okay we go further with this uh, hole 5.5 is from the cent from the peak to the center point then other dimensions, diameter of 4, 16, and distance of 119. Now I see that I forgot the dimension, this dimension, 125, and this happened right here with uh, this sketch. You see it is not fully constrained. We always need to see this. I apply a distance here between this and this of 125. Now is okay. Finish sketch. We continue with uh, this hole diameter of 4, angle of 16, 5.5 from this point to this line and 119. Let's do this. The plane is XY F7 we draw a contour as you can see close the distance here is 119 119 the angle is 60 divided by 2. This distance is 5.5. I make this as a center line to apply the diameter of 4. And we have one dimension needed to cover this. The dimension is uh, this. You see, you can place this anywhere. To have here a fully constrained sketch, I project this arc, which must be construction. And I apply tangent, my friends, between this and line and this. Now we have a fully constrained sketch. It's okay to uh, take a look here all the time, when you finish a sketch, of course. Revolve with cut, not join okay you see the feature is okay another hole is this one 5.8 7.3 and 5.4 at a distance of 101 of uh, this the center of this circle 
which means on this line, not this arc, this line and this axis. The same plane, XY, F7, we draw a line between these two perpendicular. I want to be perpendicular. I apply perpendicular separately. Yes, I place that dimension to be sure. One, zero, one. From this face to this point. One, zero, one. This is the axis. Then I draw some lines. One. If I hover here, I have the parallel or perpendicular. Again, perpendicular. And here. This was not intended, this was not intended, I delete them. Dimensions. This is 5.8. This is uh, 5.4. And the diameter here is 7.3 finish sketch revolve with cut ok there are 4 5 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 holes here with the same distance between them the left one is 6.8 and dimensions are here you are free to study them same plane new sketch f7 project this line and my friends, this one, not this one, yes? We draw a connection line, vertical, at a distance of 6.8 from the left, 6.8 it is uh, center line and we draw lines this vertical sloped and vertical you have to see that this is different from the other because it has also a chamfer the other don't have this we create this series of holes and then we apply that chamfer dimensions here are 8 diameter of 8 diameter of 4.8 angle of 19 divided by 2 90 divided by 2 
and this line with dimensions dimension of 1.6 we have a fully constrained sketch revolve cut ok now I apply rectangular pattern for this last hole and with directions revert it to the right distance of 16.4 this is 5 there are five holes there okay you see that holes we cannot apply chamfer here because this is a curved face and uh, the designer asked us to respect uh, this 4.4 so we apply revolve creating a new sketch in the same plane xy f7 then uh, project this uh, any line we apply one line from this center to the up line then we place here a sloped line the other are created this is 90 divided by 2 this is 4.4 from here to the bottom to here I have to project this line in order to place that uh, dimension 4.4 I also make this point placed on this line and now we have a contour the contour is this one yes the diameter is uh, already created but we have to make this an axis and let's see if we can use a close contour there revolve yes we can with cut okay this is not a circle all the features were created so we can check the volume physical update copy close drawing double click and this is the new value there is a very small difference at the fifth rank this is four and this is six so we don't care about anything but what we did is the last word here I 
apply the material which is uh, stainless steel and we have a nice part nice object which is the same with this only difference is uh, the light that's all for today thanks for watching bye bye